Welcome to our service this morning. As you can see in front, this is the second Sunday of our season of creation. And the theme for this week is caring for the commons. I'll tell you more about that in the sermon. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. The Lord be with you and also with you. If you, O Lord, should note what we do wrong, who then, O Lord, could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open and all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Jesus said, This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, confident in God's forgiveness. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to God in faith, Pardon us and set us free from all our sin. Strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. 
You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The collect for this week is a prayer that we will be able to share the good news of God's love. O God, you call your church to witness that in Christ we are reconciled to you. Help us so to proclaim the good news of your love that all who hear it may turn to you through Jesus, Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 14, verses 1 to 14. Welcome those who are weak in faith, but not for the purpose of quarrelling over opinions. Some believe in eating anything, while the weak eat only vegetables. Those who eat must not despise those who abstain, and those who abstain must not pass judgment on those who eat, for God has welcomed them. Who are you to pass judgment on servants of another? It is before their own Lord that they stand or fall, and they will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make them stand. Some judge one day to be better than another, while others judge all days to be alike. Let all be fully convinced in their own minds. Those who observe the day, observe it in honour of the Lord. Also those who eat, eat in honour of the Lord, since they give thanks to God, while those who abstain, abstain in honour of the Lord and give thanks to God. <clears throat> we do not live to ourselves and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? Or you, why do you despise your brother or sister? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then, each of us will be accountable to God. Let us therefore no longer pass judgment on one another, but resolve instead never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of another. I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it unclean. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and also with you. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew chapter 18 beginning at verse 21. Glory to you Lord Jesus Christ. Peter came and said to Jesus, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, Not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. For this reason the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him. And as he could not pay, his Lord ordered him to be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii, and seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into prison until he would pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed and they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? 
and in anger his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my heavenly Father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've got a question for you, folks. Was Matthew's church in trouble? We picture the early church as nice, love Jesus, good to each other, get on with mission. But in the section of Matthew we're reading at the moment, Matthew chapter 18, there's a lot about dealing with hard times with each other, about not abusing the little ones, about how to resolve a conflict. We talked about that last week. And this week it's about forgiveness. And I just wonder, fresh thought for me, was Matthew's church having a bit of a fight? They needed to be told, forgive from the time and teaching of Jesus. Today's bit of Matthew's Gospel takes us back to the ministry of Jesus with the Twelve and to Peter's generous offer that when he needs to forgive his brother or sister, he will do that per person seven times. And he probably thinks that's a great offer. And Jesus says to him, 70 times seven. And I don't think he means you can get to 490 and then go nuclear. I think he means keep forgiving. Keep forgiving. There's no end. Because the goal of forgiveness is reconciliation with the other person and their healing, I don't get to keep score and say, well, now your forgiveness is over. And then he told a story. A story about when logic met the logic of grace and logic won, but we're left wanting grace. There was a man whose slave owed him a billion dollars. It's a parable. We don't know how he could get a billion dollars into debt, but somehow he managed to blow the national debt. And the owner of the man, the owner of the slave, his response initially was, I will sell you, I will sell your family, I will sell everything and everyone you know and get some of it back. And that will not cover the debt, but it will make him pay. The debtor begs and is given mercy. This impossible debt is forgiven. He walks out of the room. He sees someone who owes him $500. Goes back into logic. You owe me money. Pay me now. You don't pay me. I have you arrested. I start selling your stuff. The owner of both Here's what the man he has forgiven for a billion dollars is doing for five hundred dollars and is outraged, arrests the original debtor, reinstates the debt, locks him up. The logic of grace, forgiveness, he forgave, met logic, you owe me. And everybody went back to logic. You owe me, you pay, you go to prison until you do. I'm sure we're meant to read that parable and think, I want the logic of grace. I want forgiveness. I want to be a forgiver. I want the people who've hurt me to be forgiven. I want to be forgiven myself. I want to live the logic of grace. We don't want the logic of O. Oh. We want the logic of grace, of forgiveness. So back to Peter's question, how often do I have to forgive? Which logic do you want? Which world do you want to live in? Peter would need to be forgiven shortly afterwards for abandoning and denying Jesus. Jesus would give his life and on the night before he died would say of a glass of wine, this is my blood poured out for the forgiveness of everybody. You can't have Christianity without forgiveness. Praying for it, receiving it, giving it. The logic of grace and forgiveness. It's no secret the church today is also in trouble and so is the world. 
It's a divided world. These lives matter. Those people, that party, there's a speech that all politicians give, most politicians give. The mob over there are bad and incompetent. You need to be afraid of them and vote for us. The world's in trouble. Resources are running out. We're a couple of weeks after Earth Overshoot Day and the climate negotiations that should ensure the future of the world are getting stalled. The concept that we want to talk about today is the concept of the commons. In days of yore, there would be your land, your land, and common land that anyone could graze their livestock on. So if you didn't own land, you could still have livestock and graze it there, the commons. The problem with the commons was that if everybody overstocked it, nobody would be able to use it well. If one person overstocked it, it would be spoiled for everybody. Today we have a larger suite of things that are our commons. We breathe the same air. I didn't buy it, you didn't make it. We all use it. We use the same water. I didn't make it, it fell from the sky. We all use it. We exploit fish, forests, animals. All these things are just there. And sometimes there's some licensing involved, but everybody uses it. Everybody. And just like the common grazing ground, if one person or one group overexploit, then it can be spoiled for others. If you burn my, that forest, then maybe we don't breathe well. Maybe our climate changes. To protect the commons, everybody needs to look out for everybody else. And that's not happening. Well, if we're people who believe in the kind of logic of grace from Jesus' parable, and yes, it's about forgiveness, but I'm sure that logic applies to other aspects of life too, if we're people who believe in the logic of grace, then we will look at a situation of brokenness and instead of saying, how do we get ours, we will say, what can we do to fix it for everybody? So Christians, as people of the logic of grace, we want to protect the commons. We want to do our bit to not overexploit. We want to call out those who do overexploit. We want an order rules and understanding together so that the things we have in common, the air, the water, the animals, the plants, the sea, the things that swim in the sea, all those things which you didn't make, I didn't make, and we all need them to be in good neck. Christians will be people who care for, advocate and protect the commons. I think Matthew's church was in trouble. And it's not easy to be the first one to forgive. The community today, mostly healthy, but there are problems. And it's not easy to be the first one to say, let's live by grace. But that's what Jesus gave his life for, to make a community of followers who would live like him out of the logic of grace. So the two take-homes from today, forgive as you have been forgiven and protect the commons, those parts of the planet that you didn't make, we all need, and you and I have to care for. Amen. Ubutumwa bwiza tubusanga muri Matayo mweranda, ikigabo cya 18, umurongo wa 21 gushikana ku 22. Umugani wa bari y'umwenda babiri Maze Petero aza kuri we aramubwira ati mushinga ntahe inshuti yanje ni yangirira nabi zo muharira ngeze kangahe nge zindwi Yesu aramubwira ati jeho sinkubwira yuko geza indwi ari kugeza indwi indwi gushitsa ibiheta ngabo mirongo irindwi Uguharira nurufunguzo gubu Kristo Imana yohereje umwana wayo Yesu Kristo kugira ngo adufire tubone guharigwa ibyaha turasenga tukavuga ngo uduharira ibyaha byacu nkuko natwe duharira abatugiriye nabi 
guharigwa ivyaha ni imana niyo nyungu nyamukuru yo mu Kristo Intumwa Petero yabajije Yesu iti inshuti yanje ni yangirira nabi nzo yiharira ngeze kangahe nge zindwi Petero kumbure yiyumviriye ko guharira izo nshiro zose indwi zari nyinshi ku muntu yoba yamucumuye ko Yesu yamwishuye ati je si nkubwira yuko ugeze indwi ari kugeze indwi indwi gushetse bihitanga bo mirongo irindwi mu yandi majambo bivuga ngo ntuze uhagarike guharira kuko nta gihe kiba gisigaye ngo umuntu aronke impera yiwe uku niko imana idufata kuko yama yaduhariye hari gihe kandi usanga guharira bitoroshe iyo abantu bashize hamwe bamwe muri bo usanga bakora ibintu bidahimbara abandi kandi rimwe na rimwe hari igihe tubabazwa nibyo abandi badukoreye muri ibyo bintu bitubabaza hari igihe usanga bibaho kuko haba habaye ukutumvikana canke habaye amakosa y'abantu bakoze ibintu bitameze neza ariko nk'abana b'umubyeyi wacu uri mu ijuru tugomba guharira nkuko imana data natwe iduharira naho umuntu yoba yatugiriye nabi dushaka ko uyo muntu nawe akizwa kandi tukabandanya tugirirana rumwe bwiza nawe kubw'ibyo rero tuba dukoze ibyo ku ruhande rwacu byo guharira nk'impanuro guharira sicho kimwe no kwizigira nka karorero nk'umuntu agukubise umuharire mugabo ntumwizigire kugeza umenye ko atazosubira gukora iryo kosukundi iyo hari umuntu nuko ubu mukunda umusengere umwipfuriza ivyiza mugabo kugeza kongera kumwizigira nuko nawe nyene agomba kuvyerekana mu ngiro y'ibyo akora nta na kimwe choroshe muri ibi Yesu yatanze ubugingo bwiwe kugira aharire isi yose ivyaha nkabakurikiye Yesu natwe tugomba guharira abumvise amajambo y'Imana Imana ibahezagire amina Let us stand and together affirm the faith of the church on page 123 We believe in one God the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who, with the Father and the Son, is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please stand for the greeting of peace. We are the body of Christ. His spirit is with us. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Please share that greeting with whoever you're with and in your mind and heart, with those of us gathered here at St Mark's.
Jesus Christ, hear our prayers for your world and your church. We give thanks for the beauty of your creation. Stir up your people to cherish, care for and protect it and give us wisdom to use the resources carefully and share the world's bounty with all in peace. Jesus, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the good news of salvation for all people. Strengthen us for our work in the world. Empower your church to proclaim the gospel in service, word and sacrament. Unite in the truth all who confess your name, that we may live together in love to your glory. Jesus, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our community that all will work together for mutual support and benefit. Give wisdom and patience to all. Help us to see you in others and to love and respect all those we meet in our daily lives. Jesus, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks that you are the God who brings mercy and wholeness. Comfort and heal, we pray, all who are in sorrow, sickness, need or any other trouble. We pray for all on our parish prayer list. Give to those who care for them wisdom, patience and gentleness and to us all your peace. Jesus, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for your servants in every age. Grant that we, with Steve Myers, Valerie Hallam, Arthur Oak, Kathleen Garner, Roy, Roy Ackrell, Di Clark, Doris Shaw, Max Rahman, Roy Banks, Mary Rothenberg, Marge Wilkins, Letty Jean-Louis, Joyce Smith and all your saints may be brought to a joyful resurrection and the fulfilment of your kingdom. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith we may by your grace receive through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Utaka wana zima tuangia kushima kwa tulinzu katusi kama haka utuke za kuisa tuliwa sima anu haku chiba hilo. Siko tuwaliweza, siko tuwalisha karanga wandi, haliweshi watu shugiza, haliweshi watu usha ugororoka, haliweshi muami. Wala wa gororo tiku dusumja, aliko muami watakiriho, mbese muami na wandi wa guaye. Aliko tuwebge muami tulachari nga hatu shimi zina jawe, tulafuza tulakoze. Tulimbele zawe muami, wangira kutushimbele, tulasenge data ujamaka kanya, tulisa wimbawa zima na zima. Wangira kuduha lira, kuko tulabanya vjaha. Tugenda duchumura mautamenya, mufzi mvilo no mvugo. Halifzishi tulaba na maso ya chubiga tuma duchumura. Mungi zina jawe ora, wangira kufuta mazina chumgitabo chimanza, aliko yandike mungitabo chubu gingo. 
turisa bimbabazi turisa bikigongwe turasengeye abagwaye bari mu bitaro abishwe n'inzara impfubyi n'abapfakazi bage bagwaye bidakunda ko bavuga kari benshi bari mu ngo zabo mbese badafise n'imiti yo kunwa turya gusabye bagenderere mwa mu babere umuganga wiheshe cyubahiro kuko ari we muganga mukuru turasengeye mwami nabage data buja abagwaye y'ingwara ya covid 19 turakusabye ubagenderere data busha tiganza cyawe kibakoreho uzo bukose mu izina rya Yesu Kristo nk'ukuri imana wiheshe cyubahiro turasengeye data buja ibihugu byose data buja bicitse intege muri ibi bihe kubwingwara turagusabye mwami ubigenderere ubigenderere isi yose mwami wongere kuba umuganga ku isi yose turazi uko wewe naho wavuga ijambo rimwe byose bishobora guhagarara data buja turasengeye abarimu turasengeye abarongo ya mashengero yose yo ku isi turasengeye mwana zima abarongo bihugu byose byo kwisi ubaho bwenge bukwiye data busha nka bumwe bahasarom tubasenge abarongo ya mashengero abarimo abapastori nabandi bose wongere kubaho mpwe mwa yongere kubarongora uzo bukose mu izina rya Yesu Kristo wongere kwishubahiro wongere kutusha imbere nko kuri imana uzo bukose mwami waravuze ati ni musabe muzohabwa murondere muzoronka muramutse muzugururirwa turaramukije turadodoye mwami wongere kugurura wongere kumviza data busha ibyo tuvuga nibyo tugusaba uzo bukose mu izina rya Yesu Kristo nko kuri imana wiheshe icubahiro uzo bukose waravuze ati data buja cyo muzosaba mu izina yanje cyose munyize muzakironga turize kugiye kubikora byose turazi yuko guye kuturinda turazi yuko kuzo tuzigama muri byose turakwizeye kandi mwami waravuze ati ntimutinye niyo mpamvu mwami dushikamye twizeye kuri kumwe natwe uzo bukose urabana natwe udufashe muri byose utwiganzire abo dusengera hamwe bose ubarinde aho bari hose ubazikame turasabye data buja ibihugu byose ubirinde mwami uwongere kuhesha cyubahiro data buja abatera kumenya bongere kukumenya uzo bukose urabana natwe muri byose twiganzire utuzigamishye ubushobozi bwawe ufashe imiryango yacu abana abakuze uzo bukose urabana natwe muri byose mu izina rya Yesu Kristo tubisabye twizeye amen our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Once again, our time in worship together has nearly concluded. Just like to draw your attention to a couple of things. Firstly, this is the display I told you about, uh, the display for our season of creation. It will grow as we move through the weeks of the season. What you can see here is the display for the first Sunday. There will be extra bits added by this weekend and by the weekend after, and you'll see those in subsequent videos. The second thing is to encourage you to join the Queensland Community Alliance Assembly on Monday night, the 14th of September. You can find the link via the parish Facebook page or in the comments under this video, although that comment won't be there until after uh, some of you have watched this video. So come back and check the comments uh, after the video is published. Can I encourage you to continue to stay in touch with each other and to continue to live as people of faith, to look for the ways in which you and I can protect the common resources that everybody needs to use uh, on this beautiful planet that we share. Thank you once again for joining us and I'll see you next week.
peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Christ has entered he heaven. Oh, stop, start. <laughs>